All right, on the product form, you have the product name, cost price, sales price. You click on create, everything goes well, and you get a pop up message. And that is click OK, and then this will go away. How about converting that message box into this green message box or red in case of any failure? So this is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. If you're interested to learn, please make sure that you watch until the end and let's get started. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Before I get started, I just wanted to say something. For some reason, the mouse is not visible onto the screen. So it's, it looks like, you know, I can understand from the viewer point of view, the mouse, you know, you don't follow the mouse. You follow the mouse, but you don't know where exactly it is. You just watch what is happening uh, on the screen. So I really apologize for that. I'm trying to fix it. Otherwise, I'll get a new um, screen recorder to make sure that, you know, mouse is visible. So. Sorry for that, but I'm sure this, this video will be useful. You will learn a lot from this video, especially if you're interested uh, in Microsoft Access and building your application in a new way. So I've got two buttons, success message, failure message, because I want to demonstrate what happens, what kind of message should appear, where it should appear, if in case it's a success, meaning the record has been created, if there is something, a information missing or something is missing. So in that case, the failure message, how do we populate that? So that's why I've got two buttons for the demonstration purpose. So let's go ahead and let's see how do we build it. So I'm going to go to design view. You see every form, whether it is what type of whatever type of form, it has a header and a footer. Footer, normally we hide it. So why don't we utilize the footer area basically to achieve whatever I have spoken about in terms of messaging. So let's achieve that using the footer and to do that first of all I'm going to get a label and I'm going to paste in here or drop in here and I say status message goes here something like that all right and I will change the width of this label and I will make it center and maybe I'll change the font color and the font size as well now this is all completely optional if you want to change it great if you don't no worries you go to form view and you get a nice uh, message box here but this stays here then what happened to the point which i mentioned that how do we get it disappear after a couple of seconds well we need to build that functionality and i'm going to show you how to do that now the next thing i want to do is i want to change this uh, labels caption to the success and the failure message. So let's go to the design view. Let's click on the success message uh, button and we'll go to the event tab on click event dot 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 and we'll write simply one line of code and that is me dot LBL. Oh, hang on. Guess what? I forgot to give a name. So let's give a name to this um, label and we call it LBL message because technically this label will be showing message. So we'll go back to not here what I'm doing we'll go back to the click event of the button which button success button all right so now I'm going to write a line of code and I'm going to say me dot LBL message dot caption because this is a uh, label so we have to provide that and we'll say the success message has been printed successfully all right, something like that because we are testing, okay? Um, and now I'm going to go back to failure message button. I've selected that. I'll go to the event tab, on click event, dot, 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 code builder in here. And in here, I'm going to repeat the kind of same thing. LBL message dot caption equals, and we'll say the failure message has been printed successfully, all right? So there you go. Those, those are two types of messages. And let's go and check it out. We'll go to the form view. And right now, status message goes here. This is the by default text. Now I click on status uh, success message. And look at that. The success message has been printed successfully. 
and I click on failure message, the failure message has been printed successfully. Now, this is not something, you know, new or not. You know, you can do that. You know, you can achieve it. But here's the thing. I want this message uh, box to only appear or this area to only appear when I click one of these two buttons. Otherwise, I want this to be hidden. What I'm saying it, I will demonstrate. So I click on the form and I open it and we see that label sits right there. Status message goes here. So the user might be confused. What is it? Do I have to do anything? So we need to hide this, uh, this message label. And it only appears when user click one of these two buttons. So how do we hide that? Simple. We'll go to design view. We'll go to the, uh, we select the form from the corner. We'll go to the event tab, onload event, and we'll say dot 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 code builder. And we come here and we say me dot form footer dot visible equals false. All right. So we say whenever the form is open, I make sure that this is always hidden. So let's check it out. You can see that no more that but that uh, message goes here. Message appears here. Now, if I click on success message, where is it? Where is gone? Is it uh, gone? Disappeared permanently? Nope. It is coming, but we can't see it because it's all hidden. And now we have to write another line of code to bring that label back. So let's go back to design view and we will go uh, behind these both buttons. First, we'll go back uh, to the success message button. So we'll say me dot form footer uh, dot visible equals true. And same we will do for the failure button me dot form footer dot visible equals true. All right. So let's close that. Let's check it out. And by default, it will be hidden. So let's click on success message. Boom. Here we have. Right. The success message has been printed. Failure message, the failure message has been printed. But the problem is this stays forever. It doesn't go away. Now, how do we fix that? Let's do it as well. Let's go back to design view. And I've selected the form from the corner. We go to the even tab of the form and we scroll down until we see a event called time interval. Now in here, it's zero by default, or there may be nothing based on your settings. But I want this message, that message to be appear for eight seconds. And then after that, I want that message to go away. All right, hide it automatically. I don't have to hide myself. So to do that, because it is eight seconds, I'm going to type in 8,000. Because 1,000 equals to one second, 2,000, 3,000, and so on and so forth. So if I want something to be appear for eight seconds, 8,000. and are we done yet? No, we have to write a two or three line of code here as well. Maybe one line of code. On timer, we go here, dot, 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 code builder. Two lines of code we need to write. And that would be if me dot visit, if me dot form footer dot visible equals true, then uh, me dot form footer dot visible equals false and if basically what we have done is we have told microsoft access check when if this form is if the form footer is open if that's the case then hide it after the time period that we have mentioned which is eight thousand, which is eight seconds so shall we check it out shall we test whether this works or not so let's double click here by default nothing is in here it will only occur, the timer will only work when the footer is active. So let's click on success message. If I click on that, there you go. Now wait for a couple of seconds. This should go away. It's gone. And that means our code is working. Let's click on failure and the message appears. Now we'll wait for eight seconds and this goes away. Now this is fantastic, but the message looks really blank. You know, it's not attractive. Um, it's it's just a white color background with a you know black color text so we can make it more attractive if you wish to do so and the way to make it more attractive is to have a bit of color you know if it is success make it green if it is failure make it red you know this this is the kind of attraction you can build so how do we do that let's go ahead and do it we'll go to design view 
and we click on the success message we click on dot 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 and the success message first let's handle that so in here what we will do is we will say that the back color and the text color should be changed so we'll say me dot form footer dot back color equals and we'll provide the rgb values red green and blue values so we'll provide 89 as red comma 179 as green and comma 176 as blue so this will make this combination of rgb will make a nice green color which i really personally like then after that we want the font color to be changed to white so let's say me dot um lbl message dot four color equals vb white so we want to change it to the white color now let's repeat the same for the failure message so in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the same message basic uh, same line of code so me dot form footer dot back color but this time the rgb values will be changed because we want to show it red so we'll say 255 which is red and 153 which is green and 156 which is blue so the combination of this rgb will make a nice light color red right and then i want the four color also to be changed which mean the color of the text itself so lbl message dot four color equals vb white now let's go ahead and let's test it out so we will go back to the products form double click in here there's no message right now i'll expand it a little bit and i click on success message watch here and there you go that's a beautiful green color with nice white color text and it should go away within eight seconds and it has gone now let's click on the failure message and it's a beautiful red color with nice white background or text uh, text color by the way not background so you can see that what i'm doing here and you can achieve the similar behind every button basically you want to show any message you can adopt this methodology to show are we done yet no in the word of steve jobs one more thing i want this message to be more attractive i want to have icon right so you can have an icon like for example if the success message the green color check mark or something like that a failure message the red color cross or something like that right so to make it more attractive so let's go ahead and do that we'll go to design view and we'll go to the uh, form design and insert message insert image not message and uh, i've already done that before so for the other channels tutorial that's why they are populating here otherwise you can click on browse and wherever you have stored these icons you can bring them here so let's click on green so first let's get this one and we'll give a name and we'll say icon green and now let's get another one which is red and oh, not like this we'll go to con control z we will unselect that we'll click on red and we'll go here and we'll go here and we'll say icon red okay now what i would like to do is i would like to do some alignment here so basically i want to align these two together and i want to align it in the center i think this is the center now i don't want this both buttons to appear together uh if success message only green should appear red should be hidden failure should be vice versa so let's go ahead and do that we'll go to the success message button and property sheet even tap dot 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 in here we will come here and we'll say me dot icon green dot visible equals true and me dot icon red dot visible equals false right because this is a success message all right now we'll achieve the same with the failure message and we'll say green should be hidden right because it's a failure it's not a success message and for the red it should be visible true there you go okay so that's done now let's go ahead and check it out let's go ahead and give a final look at it have a final look at it whether this works or not so let's click on success message boom we have this little green icon i don't know whether you have seen or not and now it's look with the icon 
green color background and white text same with the failure message red icon you know red color background and white text so this is what i was talking about and i think this is much better than having the pop-up boxes of course pop-up boxes are beautiful feature as well for example if i go here i type in click on create we get a pop-up and user have to click on okay and then this will go away i think this will be more beautiful this is only my point of view i might be wrong but you can achieve this easily you can in fact perform many different tasks in the form footer based on what user has uh, done any activity on the form so this is what i wanted to demonstrate i hope that you have learned something i hope you have liked it if you have liked smash the like button tell me in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video that's about it thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one